Hello everyone, this is Professor Raviraj Kulkarni, Department of Chemistry, KLS Gokta Institute of Technology, Belgami. Today I am going to discuss about nanomaterials, the last part of applied chemistry syllabus. Nanomaterials, what are nanomaterials? What do you mean by nano? Nano in Greek means dwarf or something extremely very very small <clears throat> a nanometer is one billionth of a meter or 10 to minus 9 meters to give some analogy if you take a hair and cut into hundred thousand parts and one part is of the size of nanometer according to IUPAC Nanomaterials are defined as materials having sizes in the range 1 to 100 nanometers. Why 1 to 100 nanometers? Because the quantum chemistry plays a major role here. The classical mechanics doesn't work. So the properties change at the scale. Nanomaterials show different properties compared to their bulk counterparts. Why properties change at nanoscale? Electron confinement that is quantum effects comes into picture. Greater surface area to volume ratio, reduction in solid state defects, surface and interface forces become dominant at nanoscale. Because of these effects the properties at nanoscale changes. What is electron confinement? Take a box which is a three-dimensional object which is a bulk material I can say. You cut, you can take a slice of it. So I can say this is a thin film where the one dimension is in nanoscale and two dimensions are bigger so it is two dimensional object the first one is three dimensional object this is three dimensional this is two dimensional object right then we can take a nanowire which is one dimensional object Electron, electron can move in only one direction. Then you can take a nanoparticle. Nanoparticle where it is totally confined. So it's a zero dimensional object. Right. So three dimensional, two dimensional thin film, one dimensional nanowire, zero dimensional nanoparticle. So this change in property is because of electron confinement. So most widely used definition of nanoscience is the study of phenomena and manipulation of materials at atomic, molecular and macromolecular scales where properties differ significantly from those at a larger scale. Nanotechnologies are the design, characterization, production and application of structures, devices and systems by controlling the shape and size at nanometer scale. Where are nanomaterials found? Some nanomaterials occur naturally which include combustion products, volcanic ashes, etc. Some engineered nanomaterials are already in use. They can be found in sunscreens which are used to block UV light from sunlight. So we usually use Nano ZNO or TiO2 which can block the UVA radiations so which are used in sunscreens. Cosmetics, many cosmetics they use nanomaterials. Example is carbon nanopowder is used for face wash. Stain resistant clothing, 
here many examples are there i'll take i'll quote one example coating of super hydrophobic materials like zno and with ps poly, uh, polystyrene composites can be used in stain resistant closings which is super hydrophobic electronics they are used in memories iron oxide nanoparticles uh, are used in uh, magnetic disk drives audio, audio video tapes even electronic chips are in nanoscale carbon black particles are used in tires nanomaterials are also used in diagnosis imaging and drug delivery purposes nanoscale devices or nano robots serve as vehicles for delivery of therapeutic agents what are size dependent properties of nanomaterials there are many i'll just uh, discuss only five properties here optical properties chemical properties mechanical properties electrical properties and magnetic properties these properties change drastically when you go from bulk to nanoparticles how optical properties change the nanomaterials have higher optical band gap compared to their bulk counterpart when you go to nano scale the band gap increases so you know in conductors the valence band and conduction band are overlapping if you increase the band gap it becomes semiconductor if you further increase the band gap above 6 electron volt it becomes insulator so the electronic properties change the optical properties change because of this band gap change bulk gold is yellow in colored yellow colored whereas nano gold appears in red color if the nano size of the gold nanoparticle is 80 nanometers the particles are so small that electrons are not free to move about as in bulk gold electron confinement effects because of this movement restriction this restricted movement the nano gold behaves differently with light chemical properties also change increase in surface area increases the chemical activity nano materials have better catalytic activity compared to their bulk counterparts bulk gold is chemically inert thus considered to be not active however gold nanoparticles of 3 nanometer size have excellent catalytic properties they are used in the oxidation of carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide <coughs> gold nanoparticles exhibit extraordinarily high activity for partial oxidation of hydrocarbons hydrogenation of unsaturated hydrocarbons reduction of nitrogen oxide etc mechanical properties the mechanical properties at nano part nano scale they change drastically because of surface and interface forces become dominant nano materials results the nano material results in improved hardness and toughness of metals and alloys and ductility for example you can easily bend the copper wires but if the size of the nano wire copper wire is less than 15 nanometers it becomes super hard material it, it it doesn't exhibit the same malleability and ductility as bulk copper the enhancement in mechanical strength is simply due to the reduced probability of defects the two possible mechanisms have been proposed to explain the enhanced strength of nano wires or nano rod nano rods increased surface perfection 
in general smaller the structure lesser the surface defects so only one or two atoms are missing here here also in internal perfection also very less number of material uh, atoms are missing okay but if you compare the bulk so the imperfection is more in bulk compared to in nano so that's the reason they show super hard properties of they have got better strength compared to their bulk counterparts magnetic properties the large surface area to volume ratio results in substantial proportion of atoms having different magnetic coupling with neighboring atoms leading to differing magnetic properties bulk gold and platinum are non magnetic but at the nano size they act as magnetic nanoparticles gold nanoparticles become ferromagnetic when they are capped with the appropriate molecules such as thiols iron nanoparticles show super paramagnetic effect at nano scale ferromagnetism disappears and transfer into super paramagnetism in the nanometer scale due to huge surface energy lastly the electrical properties which are similar to optical properties because of electron confinement the electronic band gap increases conductors become semiconductors and semiconductors become insulators thank you for watching